You know, Freyer loved to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. Freya, earlier you mentioned that Freya was one of Alfheim's first visitors. Care to elaborate? I wasn't in these lands at the dawn of realm travel. Well, we believed for a long time that all the giants had died in the Flood, until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Enough. We will continue later. I wonder, how'd these two pups end up yoked to the sled? Ever try flying in a sandstorm? I imagine Freyr showed the Dark Elves that Gulon could be trained to pull a plow. They must have found new uses for them once the sandstorm arrived. I imagine they're now... ...bred to aid and trap... ...holding the surface. She's gone. That? Well, she's hiding again. It matters not. The journal is ours. The work is done. Freya, do you mind picking up that story about your brother? I think you said a giant had appeared in Vanaheim. That's right. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freya became immediately infatuated with her. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did. Exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerth to wander away. Brother, wait. Do you notice that?
Freya, get invited to your brother learning to realm travel. I take it the romance with his teacher ended poorly? It did for him. Freya was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. Old. We will finish later. Freya, returning to the story of your brother, you said he made it his mission to find the source of Bifrost's light. He did indeed. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freya believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by light and dark elf 